Hi, this is Max from arbitragehero.com and in this video I am going to show you how our online arbitrage module works. Arbitrage module can be accessed from the left hand side menu uh, in online arbitrage section and I am here on analyze products page where you can search for potential profitable leads to sell on Amazon and as you can see here you can select uh, suppliers or retailers and you can select multiple retailers here uh, also you can select multiple categories from the drop down list here as well when you search for products on this page you must select either a, a retailer or category or you can mix and match those as well also you can select and choose the matching score which you want to use for your filtering and by default we set it to medium but you can also set it to high or low also you can define custom filters and as you can see here i have bsi percentage set to five minimum roi 20 percent minimum profit uh, more than five dollars and you can also set whether you want to exclude listings where you have Amazon on the listing. And you can also specify, for example, for how long Amazon should be out of stock, even if it was present on the listing before. Other filters, uh, you can set minimum and maximum sellers, etc. Uh, also, our users asked us to add categories to exclude. For example, if you are a new seller or even experienced seller, but you are not eligible to sell in certain categories, you can filter them out automatically by selecting them in here. In addition to that, you can exclude certain keywords, like for example, you also can be not eligible to sell certain brands and you can list them uh, with a comma separated list in here as well. When you configure your filters, you can save them by specifying name here and then pressing save button. So once you have done it, then this filter will appear in the list of predefined filters for you. And you can use those filters again and again without needing to change those. So you can, for example, create a filter for 5% ROI or 20% ROI, etc. In addition to that, if you are selling using FBM but not FBA, you can enable this option here and Arbitrage Hero will be calculating profits based on that. Also, if you have SaaS subscription or Bybot Pro subscription, then you can enable special links for those. So when you open links from Arbitrage Hero on Amazon, then we will pre-populate data within those extensions for you. But by default, we pass the data from within Arbitrage Hero to our own extension, which you will have access to if you have full Arbitrage Hero subscription. Let's try to search for something. Let's, for example, try to use Walmart because it is a big store and I was pretty successful with toys category. Let's say I want to search for toys in this particular store. Let's click update and you can see that Arbitrage Hero goes and finds uh, results pretty quickly for you. What you can also do here, you can also sort out your results based on different criteria here like profits from high to low from low to high roi sales rank and estimated sales at the moment also you can start typing here some keywords for example lego and it will filter out table for you automatically as well in addition to that you can check whether you are eligible to sell certain products or not. For example, if I wanted 
to try to sell this product i can press on this check eligibility button and you can see that i am eligible to sell this particular product on amazon if i wanted to sell this one i can also try to check it and i'm eligible to sell this one as well also you can see charts historical graphs for sales rank for pricing as well and i know that there are many people who use keeper so we try to make our charts look in a similar way and on the right hand side you can see the numbers for example number of sales uh, profits uh, roi so as you can see the number of sales here is not great not available so what we can do is we can try to sort out the results based on estimated sales and here we can see that we have cars which we can sell and make for example in this case 43 percent roi and almost six dollars in profits if you like certain products then you can click on the star looking icon on the right hand side and add those products to your favorites uh, if you decide to buy that product then you can enter your purchase here and in this way we will know the cost of the product so once you have shipped this item to amazon or once you have sold it then we will use this price to calculate profitability for this particular product also if you don't like the product you can blacklist it and you can decide whether you want to blacklist this product forever then you don't enter anything in here or if you want to just blacklist this product for a certain time so you just want to hide it let's say for a week then you enter seven uh, days here confirm and then this product will be removed from the results for seven days for you in addition to that if you see some mismatches i want to ask you to submit that feedback back to us for example if item was out of stock or wrong supplier price etc <clears throat> then you can notify us about that by providing us this information in here and if you don't see a match you can also report this particular product as a mismatch uh, also on the screen we will show you multiple options available for you for the match and you can manually match those products as well if you like the product you can try to see what amazon shows for it so you go and click on the link in here to go to amazon and once you are on amazon you can see that on the right hand side we are loading our arbitrage hero extension and you can see that we have pre-populated cost for you which we took from the previous page and you can see also calculations in here so in in addition to that we are showing some additional information like available offers and you can see that we have three fba sellers selling it recently we added additional feature we integrated it with google shopping so you can see results from google shopping as well so you can check whether you can buy the same product cheaper somewhere else uh, in the stores which we don't support and also it is useful to see reverse search here because you can see whether you can buy this item cheaper in some other stores which we support so in this case the walmart price is the cheapest one but this is quite useful because you can see whether you can buy this product cheaper in other stores using google shopping integration and using our reverse search capability as well if you decide to add your product to favorites then let's say i want to add this item here then you can go to online arbitrage favorite products obviously i added multiple products before and you can see that this product has appeared in your favorites and you can remove it from your favorites in the same way you can just uncheck it 
and it will be removed from your favorites. Let me go back to online arbitrage products. I mentioned is FBM option and quite often you need to specify inbound price or price for shipping your products to the clients. For this purpose, you can go to your profile and on this page, you can see that you can enter additional information like like purchase tax, preparation costs, FBM shipment costs and inbound shipment costs as well. So you can see that I have some settings here, which I was using, which were used in my profit calculations there. So here you can configure how your profitability is going to be calculated in the search results. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always email to our support at arbitragehero.com. This was Max from arbitragehero.com. Thank you for watching.